Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and guess what, Bademo has announced something robbery related in the upcoming update, which is going to be out today. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting, because it's coming out today, and we'll be going over everything you need to know about the NASCAR event and everything in this update. So yeah, before we jump right into the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, because it helps me a lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into all the update info. So as you guys do know, the update will be out today today at noon um that's for like my time so it's 3 p.m est or you can convert that to your time but that's when the update will be out when the nascar event will be out now what is the thing that's robbery related in this update well it's actually quite interesting so Badimo says over here we have a brand new bank layout coming to jailbreak get ready for the basement so this is called the basement and this floor has tight spaces to enter with steep stairwells, but open spaces once you're inside. Make your escape or bust in this industrial setting. So it's a very simple sort of bank lobby. Well, it's not bank lobby, but this is one of the bank layouts. And take a look at it. It is quite simple right over here. So you got to go over some lasers. And then after that, uh, there's a pile of money over there and there's the vault. So it seems very, very simple. And I really like the simplicity of it. So that's why I said over here, it feels so simple. I like it. So yeah, I, like, I heard people say it seems like Squid Game. I don't really get the comparisons. I mean, I guess it's a bit dim, the lighting, but I don't know how this would really relate to it. But anyway, tell me what you guys think about this a bank layout down in the comment section below. I think this might be one of my favorites because of how simple it is. I mean, looks like you only have to cross a few lasers to get to the vault. So nothing too simple or hard. I mean, nothing too hard. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that is it. But there's also another thing I forgot to tell you guys yesterday. So yesterday, a lot of people asked, are the vehicles limited? Do they cost money? And actually, I was trying to find a tweet. So there's one thing I did miss. Yesterday, some people asked, hey, how much money does the vehicle cost? And is it free? Do you have to grind for it? Is there some sort of like quest you got to do? Well, I was actually trying to find the answer to that, but Badimu actually deleted the tweet answering that question. Oh no, what we're gonna do when Badima deletes the tweet? Well, good thing is I have found deleted tweets so I can show you guys. And yes, it is deleted tweet about that. Yeah, let's, let me show you. So right over here is the jailbreak discord. And as you can see, this is a tweet over here. So if I click on it, as you can see, the tweet has been deleted. But over here, it does say what it is. So uh, Badimo says one vehicle will be free. The other will be 50 to 100,000 cash. We're also giving away NASCAR tire stickers. Now, I don't know why it deleted this tweet, but this was a, this was a tweet from yesterday and now it no longer exists. So that means it got deleted. I don't know why it got deleted, but I guess maybe that's some information they didn't really want to give out. But I mean, hey, it's right there. So yeah, there you go. So one NASCAR exclusive vehicle will be free to use. The other one will be cost between 50,000 to 100 grand. So yeah, it is uh, pretty affordable. I was uh, thinking like the limited time vehicle would like cost more, uh, but no, it's not. It doesn't, it doesn't cost like pretty expensive. It's pretty affordable and yeah. Now, where will the NASCAR event be? Well, I'll be right over here. So there'll be a big building right over here. This huge uh, building in the city, I believe this is literally the second tallest, as you can see, it's literally the second tallest. Like if you compare, this building is slightly taller. So the second tallest building right over here will turn into the NASCAR event building. And uh, I'll, I'll go over the trailer so you guys can see in a bit, but this is where it'll be. And then there's going to be a racetrack that'll be basically covering up the entire desert right over here. So the entire desert will be a complete racetrack. So yeah, this entire desert is going to be a huge racetrack. Can't wait to see what it'll be. But yeah, tomorrow this will be a huge racetrack. Okay, so this is the trailer right over here. And as you can see, that is the NASCAR building that I was talking about. And as you can see, you can see a little bit more inside of it over here. And this is the one of the vehicles, NASCAR includes the vehicles. You can see the interior over here. Um, this is the inside of the building, as you can see. And there's going to be exclusive merchandise, avatar items, as well as UGC items you can buy. And there's going to be the racetrack, which is the best part of it. Just look at that. Oh, man, I'm just so excited for this part of it. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of fun in this update. And it's the official event starting today, obviously, so November 5th. 2021 noon pst 3 p.m est so yeah pst is noon 
uh, 3 p.m. EST. This is like American time. So for other people living outside America, you got to put it in your time zone. Another thing is that, as you can see, these are UGC items, so you can actually get one of these. This is from, like, the official Bademo group, so they actually have uploaded it, which is quite epic right here. Anyway, what else is in this update? Well, there's actually two more things that, if you guys haven't known. The first thing right over here is, of course, a mobile control, so you can actually have new UI for mobile. There's plenty of new options, as you can see, new buttons UI, button steering, you can have the minimap. Uh, everywhere else has changed, so it's a lot easier to control mobile, and Asimo has even said it himself. As you can see right over here, Asimo says, while testing tonight, the new controls, new cameras, new everything related to UX, jailbreak feels so good right now, my experience. So it's all polished up and very nice. And this is what the preview will look like, and yeah, there's a, you can see the brakes, you can see all that. Next up, there's going to be a new feature where you can drop your uh, museum bag. So yeah, if you're outside, you know, when you're holding the museum bag right now, you can't actually carry weapons. You used to be able to do that, and you used to like, use your weapons, but they patched that glitch. But now you don't need to even do a glitch. You know, just drop your, drop your weapon, and you should be good. So it, did I just say drop your weapon? I meant drop your bag, and then you can fire the weapon, and then uh, you can pick it up. The good thing is the police cannot take it or the criminals, so it is completely safe to drop your bag. However, the bag does despawn, so if you don't pick it up fast enough, you'll lose your money. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the entire update. I know there's not like too much, but I mean, it, I think the biggest part of this update is focused on the NASCAR event. Now, it is quite a big deal that Jailbreak itself, a game inside of Roblox, is actually doing an event with a multi-billion dollar company that's extremely famous. So it's pretty crazy that that happened. And yeah, this is only 10 days, by the way. I mean, I know it seems short, but it is a, quite a, a long time. I guess I mean you also have the weekend to play it and the next week as well so it is quite a, a big event and hopefully Jobrick will do a NASCAR event again like after this one passes I want another one I mean the, the, there's gonna be racing so there's gonna be a race track over here right so the next one I say that Jobrick had a game mode you know it only makes sense you know they had a race track here and now they had a race track game mode in fact, I saw a few comments yesterday. Someone just said, oh, why don't the racetrack just spawn in and just make a game mode called the racing game mode and I'll just spawn in the racetrack. And I got to say, that is probably a pretty genius idea. You know, just spawn the racetrack right here for the racing game mode. You don't got to do anything. You just got to spawn it in. I mean, I don't know if it's that so hard to do that, but that's just an idea. All right, SEMO, please consider that idea. That will be very nice. And yeah. So tell me what you guys think about this update down below in the comment section below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!